Hi everyone, it's Kendra Dublin and I am back for another series and I'm calling this one on some coaching <laughs> because I'm not doing one on one <laughs> and some I don't know who is going to pick up this video, who's going to see it, whose search engine is going to, you know, populate from the algorithm. Um, so I'm calling this one on some coaching and this is all out of my purpose preparation coaching um, that I do with Christians to um, help them release past wounds so they can really get into what God has called them to. Um, and then also discipleship uh, for church ministry and online ministry. Um, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. Uh, so this is all about emotional awareness. And it is important for us to have a, a, an awareness of our emotions, because when we don't, then we can't get back to the Holy Spirit. <laughs> we won't hear the Holy Spirit. Um, and so these are just some small things to kind of help us to, through some of these assessments. Um, it's going to help you to start to recognize yourself and recognize God much more vividly and clearly so you can take better actions. Um, so the first one, true or false? I want you to answer this question. True or false? I'm able to recognize and acknowledge my feelings. So true or false? I am able to recognize and acknowledge my feelings. Now, it is important that you recognize your feelings because most of the time we don't really recognize that as I like to call it, you know, the body is, is revving up when you when you get triggered and when you're talking to somebody or a thought comes into your mind and when you don't recognize what's happening to you, what ends up happening? A lot of times you can fly off the handle. You can say things that you didn't want to. Uh, God is saying, hey, chill out. Um, an angel was sent to you. And, and yet you're just like, well, whatever all y'all are saying, I, I'm done. It's, it's, it's me. You know, my emotions are king and how I see things is, is how it is. And so when you can actually recognize what you are feeling internally, it's easier for, for you to quickly understand what's happening so that you can move beyond it, recognize it, and then move beyond it. Too often we, we don't recognize it and then we stay like in this, this cycle. So recognizing it and acknowledging it, right? We need to be able to acknowledge our feelings, not just say uh, I was just triggered or to be able to say I was sad, I was mad, I was happy, I wasn't feeling that, I was distraught. Because sometimes we can say, well, I was just angry, but really was it disappointment or anger? You know, sometimes we can put our feelings into like one uh, category when there's really multiple things that we can be feeling on any given day, but we need to be able to recognize those things. So again, true or false, I am able to recognize and acknowledge my feelings. It's important that you can acknowledge your feelings and recognize them um, because without them, it's hard to process um, who you are. It is hard to process what the Holy Spirit is trying to say to you. And it's hard to process to move forward and take action without awareness. It's going to be hard to take action. Uh, the second one we're going to be talking about today is I do not suppress my feelings. <laughs> True or false? Uh, so again, answer that for me. I do not suppress my feelings. Um, it is important that you do not suppress your feelings. Um, but if you are suppressing your feelings, that means you don't feel valid um, in your feelings. That means your feelings and the things that are going in you are staying in you. And we all know that it's going to bubble over and bubble over and bubble over until, they ex until it explodes and your emotions like go haywire, right? We've all heard it. We've all heard it or even said it. I've even said it before where it's like, okay, uh, I'm, I'm cool. But if you keep messing with me, I'm, I'm, I'm a go there. Um, and a lot of times it can be, it can be because we are trying to suppress those feelings that we have. Um, and then of course, later on things get crazy. We start cussing, we start fussing, we start, I mean, any and everything can happen in those moments. Um, so suppressing your feelings is not helpful to you or the other people that you are dealing with. Um, they, they won't get a better outlook on how you are feeling or get a better idea of, of understanding you and where you're coming from if you're constantly suppressing them. And you may say, Kendra, well, sometimes I'll, I'll say what I need to say, but then people are just not understanding and not hearing me. That, that's fine. Go, go again, you know, and then go again. But if, if for some odd reason you cannot come to an understanding or a mutual agreement, or you just kind of have no understanding and, and just sometimes you have to just leave certain situations alone for, for a period of time. Um, and come back to them. Some people will, you're going to have issues with them um, and they will never acknowledge anything. And in that, in that way, you have to kind of have, say your peace 
And then, of course, you have to be able to move forward um, without those different things. But it is it is important that you do not suppress your feelings, because at some point they will up <laughs> press. <laughs> They, they, they will come up and that's not healthy. Um, and what we don't want to do is be this um, angry person. What we don't want to be is this agitated and aggravated person at all times because um, we've all seen that. And you may be that and that person that has dealt with some things in the past, whether it is your own sin, whether it was a wound, whether it was just things that, that back to back to back that I was happening in your life. And then all of a sudden um, you're suppressing it and it goes crazy. And so what we don't want to do is get angry. We don't want to stir up wrath. Um, Proverbs is a, is a great um, uh, is a great scripture and book to read. Proverbs and James are like my, my favorites. But Proverbs is really great to read because it's showing like, you know, a wise man holds their tongue. A foolish man does not. Right. <laughs> so there's so many different scriptures in Proverbs that shows us like when we're just emotionally all over the place. Um, and that, that is not, that's not a healthy and good space to be in, but people will call you wise when you can be quiet, when you can humble yourself, um, when you can say little words at times, <laughs> you know, instead of just flying off at the handle. So remember to always be in your word, um, to be able to help you recognize God more, um, which will help you recognize yourself more and that, that God examination is always going to come back to some self-examination and how we need to change and move forward, um, and allow your emotional, um, state to humble itself into God so that he can show you, um, how to handle and move, um, with different situations that come up and go ahead and call on him and dive deep in him today because tomorrow is too late to be great. Now, make sure you go ahead and check out our next video um, on emotional awareness that'll be popping up in just a 